me like it's something that I know Just a borrowed whisper I heard as a kid Words of the miners who worked Montorage I've written many songs, now age 23 lived here 50 years and I don't know what else. <laughs> and you're not exactly on the ridge, you kind of live on the, a on farm. On the side, yeah. yeah. Oh, they used to uh, mine here for, what was it they mined for? The iron ore. Iron ore. And there were some up here in the woods, <laughs> holes that they made. That would have been before your time, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Any logging or... <laughs> Well, I've had it logged off here on about 15 years ago. They logged it off here. There's coming back, I'll tell you. So, you okay. know, just the one up on 45. That was. Where's that? Um, <clears throat> right off, it's on the left hand side going toward Lewisburg. That was a logging place. <clears throat> they. What the devil? Eddings lived there, and they had a sawmill. <coughs> so, just a little ways <coughs> on 45. I forget. Billheim lives there now. Okay. Do you know him? No. No? History. My husband should have been here, I'll tell you. Well, you mentioned your husband. Remind us of your husband's name and where he lived as a young boy. Mac Ryan, and he lived down there where Charlie... Joel lives for a long time. So, <clears throat> did he spend much time in the woods? Did he hunt? Did he? Oh yeah, he hunted and fished. And, uh, now Keith yeah. here. Keith claims that Mac once told him that he remembers years and years ago when there were either eels or shad coming up the creeks here. Did you? Did he? Oh, ever... we had eels down here. They caught a couple. Oh my God! They're just like snakes. Whoa. Yeah, they caught a couple out of the pond, <laughs> and now we got them great big koi. <laughs> well, the eels. The, now the eels. If you were to guess, how many years ago would that have been that you that the eels were there? That he caught that one. Well, I'd say forty-five years, anyhow. Wow. At least. What makes eels kind of special is they live part of their life in the ocean and part of their life in the fresh water. So the eels, oh, yeah. the eels that would ended up in your pond, started in the ocean um, and had to come all the way up the yeah. rivers and creeks. Hmm. There's so many dams anymore that they just oh I know they're gone. Yeah. Do you have any special memories or something that happened on the ridge? No, oh, we used to have a lot of fun. <laughs> Tell me about the sled riding. That oh you Lord. They got uh, great big pans from in it, shop by Artie, the aluminum pans, and Mr. Bowie brought them home. He worked there, and uh, we'd go to the top of the mountain there and come down. Oh, it's a wonder somebody didn't get killed or hurt, because <laughs> boy, you can go, I'll tell you. And that's Tower Road, of course. Yep, yep. Well, I know most folks I'm only interviewing about the Ridge, but I know you grew up in New York State, right? Yep, yep. Um, the Adirondacks. And your father was a logger, woodsman. Mm -hmm. Now, did you grow up in the in the camps, or were you more... No, into... my father. He'd go away on the beginning of the week and then come home on the weekends. Like little cabins built where the men all stayed, and they had a cook and cooked for them. And... Did you get to visit now and then? Would no, you... no, we weren't allowed, I don't think. <laughs> no. And that was horse logging days, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they used the buck saw. Didn't have chainsaws in. So. Uh, what does Montour Ridge mean to you? <laughs> I mean, here you are living right at the base of it your whole yeah. life, just about. Yeah. Is it a special place to you? Oh, yeah. I hate to leave this house, I'll tell you. <laughs> but it's too big for me now, so... And you said this house is built of bricks that were fired right here, correct? Yeah, right out there they were made. And we had the big things out there, sold them. What was your best guess at the year that this was laid out, this plot, or this farmhouse? When do you think 1850 it was? 1850. Wow. It was made. Yeah. 
This is in the courthouse. That's what showed it. Hey, Cal, will you go sit with Luke? Bill Telford, and I've lived next to Montour Ridge since I was six years old. I guess. Yeah, it was on the well, it'd be the south side of the ridge. Uh, we were RD always until they changed it to Hookies Grove Road at some point, and I lived in the homestead next door to where I live now which is on Hudson Lane. And when you grew up there, was it a farm that you grew up on? Yes, yep, dairy farm. And did your father do anything else for income other than farm? He uh, worked at uh, Keystone Forge in his spare time, of course. When you had dairy farm, you had a lot of spare time. <laughs> <laughs> how, was, how, did, how were you involved with logging, and how was it done, and about when was that? My dad was always loved lumber and timber had a we had our own sawmill and so uh, the different well mostly john geiss on the people that owned the land there he'd get the trees from them and we cut trees cut them to length load them on a truck bring them to the sawmill well that was and of course he did that in between milking cows and plowing and all that. <laughs> now it's changed on. Okay. Yeah. He could, my dad could drop a tree on a stake wherever you wanted it. He was, now did his dad do it as well years ago? No, not, not that I know of, not I'm aware of. But we uh, lived in, well my first six years, we lived in Lawrenceville, which is on the New York state border. Part of our farm was in York State and part in Pennsylvania. So had dairy there. Moved the horses and the cows down here. So when I was, when you're talking about Eplers, I worked there too for eight or ten years. So I'm familiar with the ridge up there because we farmed right sure. next to it. Right at the base of the ridge there. Yeah. Great. And I think there was a iron ore mine back there, because I always heard him talking about the iron ore now, whether, I assume at some point they must have gotten iron ore. Well, speaking of which, do you know of any iron ore mines that were up in this, closer to this area, in the Hookies Grove Roads area? No, I'm not familiar with any. Okay. Well, good. Let's go to this then. Are there any names of specific places in or on the ridge you've heard of? Devil's Featherbed is a... Uh, Wall-to-wall -wall rocks. <laughs> There's, I you know, often wondered how trees managed to grow in amongst them because you couldn't see any dirt. It was just the whole ridge was pure rock. And of course, we had the road to get the logs out, but you'd have to drag them across the rocks to get them to a place where you could load them. But it was pretty. Of course, there was a lot of area that wasn't. Rocky, where we got timber, logs, trees too. But well, I speaking just, of speaking of dragging logs, did you do that with a tractor or with animals? Yeah. Okay, tractor. Uh, tractor. Wow. There you go. But yeah, I'm just and the only name, the only person I ever heard call that was my dad. He always said he always called the devil's featherbed. So, and like you said, I don't know pile of rocks wherever they are or devil's featherbeds or not. How, uh, how were the snakes back in there? Any trouble with rattlesnakes? Oh, uh, yeah. We saw snakes, yeah. <laughs> Had to be careful because they would be hiding in the rocks. And, and was that all over the ridge or mostly in the Devil's Feather Bed area? I, I just remember them mostly in amongst the rocks and whatnot. No close calls? No, not that I can remember. I remember Good. seeing them. But Good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I like this one. Do you have any special memories of something that happened on the ridge? So this is a kind of a personal question. Anything that... Spent a lot of time in the woods with my dad. Later on, we'd, we'd go hiking. Of course, that was always... She and I would hike up in that direction. 
Would you go to the top? I don't know. Did we ever go to the top? We did. We went pretty far lots of yeah. times. Nice hikes. It's kind of a double hill. Right. Here, or a ways anyway. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, I always tell everybody that's where we live, next to Montour Ridge. It comes up in conversation, of course. I can say, working there quite often. Not, uh, and not on our own ground, on other people's ground. So I got, got to travel on it a lot, tractor or otherwise, or truck even like the ridge, hope it stays a wild place. I'm not growing up with all the houses and everything eventually, but whether that will happen or not, I don't know. But it, uh, it's a nice, I like Monker Ridge. Well, when my time is ended and my songs are sung no more, I've asked you where to bury me in a song I've sung before Down where the mountains melt And the river flows into the air Take me upon Montour Ridge And sing the miner's prayer